High refresh rates within smartphones have become more and more popular in the past two years, so much so that even budget-friendly devices house high refresh rate panels. The highest refresh rates in a smartphone to date is 165Hz, which was recently debuted with the Red Magic 6. For now, it is the only phone to reach such a high refresh rate, which is of course even higher than the 144Hz refresh rate we see within most gaming-centric devices. We'll be comparing it to the 144Hz ROG Phone 5, 120Hz Galaxy S21 Ultra, 90Hz Mi 11 Lite 5G, and 60Hz iPhone 12 Pro Max. In all four Android devices on the right-hand side, I will be enabling the show refresh rate option within developer options. This does not display the refresh rate within real time, but it just shows you what the screen is currently outputting. We'll be running through eight different applications today to test out scrolling, ghosting, fluidity, and of course gaming as well. The Red Magic 6 may very well have a higher refresh rate than the iPhone 12 Pro Max and Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite 5G combined, but does it make much of a difference between the S21 Ultra and ROG Phone 5 with 120Hz and 144Hz respectively? And how much smoother is it when compared to 90 or even 60Hz? This is Tech Nick, and without further ado, let's find out. Throughout the test, we're gonna be starting with 1x speed, then moving over to 0.5x, then 0.25x, and then 0.1x speed, and ending off with 0.05x speed to get extremely slow. I have recorded this on a professional grade camera at 1080p, 180 FPS, because the highest here is 165 FPS, so 180 is definitely well above that. We started off in settings over here with some slow scrolling and now moving on to some fast scrolling. You can definitely see ghosting on all devices over here because of the response rate on all phones, but the ghosting is a lot less, I guess you could say, or a lot more on the phones toward the right hand side. It's a bit of a mixed bag, but it's not so much about the ghosting per se, but about the feel of it when it's in your hand. That is why I cannot really show you guys today exactly how it feels. You would actually have to go in store or use one of your friend's phones and truly see the difference between 60 hertz and all the way up to 165. Hertz. I can't really say that there's much of a difference between 144 and 165 hertz, but this is why we're doing this test. There's certainly a difference between 60 hertz and 90 hertz, as you can see on the left hand side when scrolling through Instagram, especially when fast scrolling over here, you see a lot more frames on the screen on 90 hertz, and it's literally frame skipping when on 60 hertz on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, being the most expensive phone of the lot over here, well, matching the S21 Ultra, I guess, but it does have double the refresh rate. And the Red Magic 6 is one of the cheapest phones over here, and it has a higher refresh refresh rate than all other smartphone devices here. Bear in mind that the Mi 11 Lite 5G is a very mid-range smartphone, so having 90 hertz on it is pretty impressive to say the least. And you can see, once again, comparing the two phones on the left, there is quite a big difference. And 120 hertz to 144 hertz jump between the S21 Ultra and ROG Phone 5. There is a tad difference over there, I guess you could say, but between 144 and 165, you can't really notice much of a difference when doing a simple task such as scrolling through Instagram or Facebook. Facebook over here. It is much of a muchness. You do have to feel it for yourself when scrolling. I think the three phones on the right are definitely very smooth. You can notice a difference between 90 and 120 hertz when looking at this and honestly when feeling it as well. My mind has changed as opposed to last year after using a 90 hertz refresh rate screen and going back to 120. You can definitely feel a difference though, just very subtle. And between 120 all the way up to 165, it's less than the difference between 90 and 120. And of course, the largest difference is between 60 and 90. Using UFO vertical scrolling over there and moving on to UFO ghosting test over here, you can pretty much see a reflection of the UFOs on the iPhone right next to it, whereas the other ones with a high refresh rate doesn't show as much of a reflection since it's more hidden behind the actual object because it has a high refresh rate, so slightly less ghosting. There is still ghosting, but slightly less. Now we're moving on to fluid simulation. You can pick this up on the App Store or on the Google Play Store if you'd like to play around with it. As you can see over there, all phones were set to their maximum refresh rates that are available. And just swiping my finger down, you can definitely see the ripples on the side of this color flame to be a lot more smooth as we go toward the right-hand side as opposed to the left. If you take a look at the iPhone, it takes quite a while for those ripples to actually form, whereas it's a lot smoother and a lot quicker on the phones as you go from left to right. Definitely being the best on the Red Magic 6, but arguably on par with the ROG Phone 5 and S21 Ultra. When we go to 0 0.05 times speed, I did pull them all down at the same time. I try to get them exactly at the same, but the reason why the iPhone is slow over here is because of its refresh rate. So pulling down on it, doing it at the same speed with my hand, of course, it couldn't be 100% 
on par with the rest of them pulling down in terms of my hand speed, but it just shows how much slower it is when you would do something like scrolling, testing it out in the fluidity test over here, which shows you how many more frames you get going toward the right hand side. Moving on to gaming, we're on subway surfers over here. I have tested this out before with high refresh rate panels. Don't really look at the atmosphere around or the environment. Take a look at the character and how much ghosting you see as well as the train tracks over here, which is the biggest noticeable difference between them. And of course, how much quicker your little character runs all the way to the right, as opposed to the iPhone 12 Pro Max and Mi 11 Lite 5G on the left-hand side. Things are going slightly quicker on the right-hand side as opposed to those left devices. And of course, slightly less ghosting, though there is still ghosting, it is still apparent, it's just a lot less at a higher refresh rate and you don't really see it with the naked eye. I have been told that the naked eye can't see anything more than 40 frames per second but your finger can certainly feel it. And moving on to Trials Frontier over here, this is where you can truly see a difference when it comes to gaming. I'm doing backflips holding down the button on the left corner of each device at the same time for the same amount of time and you're seeing a lot more somersaults or backflips on the three devices on the right hand side as opposed to the two on the left. The iPhone doesn't even really make it a quarter way through, the Xiaomi not even half Halfway. The Samsung just passed halfway and the Asus and Red Magic are pretty much on par with the Red Magic about 10% slightly quicker than that of the Asus. Maybe less than that, I guess you could say. There are much of a muchness between those two gaming monsters. And moving on to Bullet Force, another game that doesn't have a frames per second cap. We're spinning and looking at the ground over here with some stone bricks. And as you can see, once again with the ghosting, but more so the frame by frame. If you take a look at the iPhone and the Xiaomi, you see more frame by frame still as opposed to how much smoother it is frame by frame with something like the Red Magic, Asus or Samsung where it's a lot more fluid and a lot easier and smoother to move around. You're not exactly going to be faster than your mates when playing games, but you are going to be more responsive. You're going to react a little bit quicker. You're going to get to the scene a lot faster than they would because of the skill that you would have as opposed to them, but you will not run faster. Things are not quicker with a higher frame rate. It just seems that way. And running with the gun in your hand, you can definitely see frame by frame on the iPhone, once again, a lot smoother toward the right hand side, but still some ghosting on the gun when the character starts to pull it towards his chest. It's much of a muchness between those three devices on the right. I must say, I, I can't even choose between them. Of course, the higher the hertz, the better the frame rate, which means that the higher it is, the smoother it will be. But can you you notice much of a difference which one do you think is the sweet spot between 60 all the way up to 165 hertz in my opinion it's probably the 120 hertz option which is why most regular phones instead of gaming centric devices have decided to go with 120 instead of anything higher than that biggest difference here is definitely between 60 and 90 hertz that being on the iphone and the xiaomi over here you can certainly see a bigger difference here as opposed to the 120 hertz and 144 hertz on the samsung galaxy s21 ultra and asus ROG Phone 5. Of course, if you want 144 hertz, you're probably going to have to pick up a gaming phone. If you are into gaming, that's definitely cool. But if you're not too gaming centric, then 120 hertz in my eyes is definitely the right way to go. Now, if you are big into gaming, you want the max amount of frames on your screen per second, definitely pick up the Red Magic 6. It is indeed cheaper than the ROG Phone 5. It is a tad more fluid. 165 hertz is honestly just a numbers game. I can't say that there's a huge difference between it and 144 hertz, but it never hurts to have some extra power behind your fingertips. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. This is Technic, and I'll catch you in the next one.